Hey friends, today we're here with Randy and Jana at Warriors Work and Ben West Gallery in Hill City, downtown Hill City in fact. Now you guys, tell us a little bit about your studio and art gallery here. Well, we built this one in 2002 and it's basically Warriors Work is a native artwork in our leather frame designs and the Ben West side is more of our contemporary gallery. So we have a mix of different artists here. We've got about 25 artists that we represent, sculptors, painters, yeah, some furniture makers. Does the art rotate every so often or how does that go? Constantly, <laughs> it seems like. Yeah. yeah, we like the design to really flow. So if, we're, if we sell a piece or move a piece, then we do a lot of rehanging and relighting. Yeah, I feel like when you walk in here, it it feels almost like you're like in New York or something, like you're at a really fancy studio, you know, that just like the feel of it. That's what we were going for. Yeah. We were going for a look that makes people stop, slow down, pay attention to what they're looking at and feel like, yeah, I can see spending $3,000 on that piece. I get it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so that, that's what we were going for. Yeah, when people say like that statement piece, right? Yeah. <laughs> this would be it. The focal piece, yeah. So yeah, also talk about then like the studio part, because I feel like there's some kind of like a workshop type thing back there. Well, we're changing right now. We have a big, I have a big studio out back and my saw room and whatnot, but uh, we're just catching up with a lot of orders now. So we ended up bringing a bench into here and we're kind of moving more and more of the actual leather working into this part of the gallery. So now when you say leather work, like specifically, what, what is that? We design framing for artwork out of uh, bison and deer skin and each frame is pretty much one of a kind made just for that piece. We usually mm -hmm. have to call people's attention to it because they've never seen a leather frame before. So you point it out and you know touch it and you know it, it's something unique that you don't find anywhere else. When we first started the gallery 26 years ago, people said, oh, you'll never sell to locals. Locals won't buy this art. And I would say we've got lots of local customers. <laughs> a lot of people are Mm -hmm. come back again and again to, to buy our artwork and have Randy frame things for him. Randy and I grew up in Sioux Falls. We moved out to California in the late 80s and we landed in a Laguna Beach, which is an art town. So we learned out in California this, you know, art, art is an economy, art is a business and you can make that happen. So when we came back here and opened an art gallery, we realized we can't be just an art gallery. We have to get involved in the community and create, you know, welcome artists, create a business opportunity for them, create art events. You know, you have to sort of go all in, full bore. Mm -hmm. It's more than, it has to be more than just one art gallery. Just You've got to create a lot of different activities so that you will become a destination uh, for art. And, mm -hmm. and that's sort of the reputation that Hill City has gotten over the years. It's, it's a great place to buy art. So John Crane Gallery is here in town. You know, we have, we've had other galleries in and out over the years, so mm -hmm. that makes a difference. It's, it's not just us. Talk about the recent award you received. We were shocked. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's uh, outstanding support of the arts by a business. So in, in that respect, it, it has to be more than just the gallery. It's all the things we've done. We were in on reigniting the Hill City Arts Council way back in the mm -hmm. 90s, I suppose. Um, some friends and I started a film festival here in town. So um, it, it's for more than just being an art gallery, although we sometimes call ourselves the Civic Center because we're, <laughs> yeah. we're great at hosting events here. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's a beautiful place to, I mean, to have parties and mm -hmm. things. So. We've been involved as far as like the, we used to have dog sled races up here and we ran the downtown events and we pretty much have been involved in, in everything we could get ourselves into here. So you have to get involved on all levels. And it's, you know, we had a great posse of people, you know, people who you know, maybe they grew up here and moved away and came back or retired people who were drawn to the hills or whatever, but there was, there's just been a great group of us over the years that have had a lot of fun working together, doing things for the town. I mean, you, you gotta bring your talents back, you know? And, you know, I think it makes a difference too when you're in a town where 
you know, we own the building, we own the business in the building, and we work here. <laughs> you know, yeah. you'll find that across the board, up and down Main Street. Mm -hmm. So the people in the shops are people who care about the town. You know, they're invested, mm -hmm. they're invested in the town. Yeah. 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 And a lot of people that come up here, that's in such a small town. When you come, come here. One of us is always going to be here when you go to the Alpine Inn, Wally's there or Moni's there, you go to these other stores. And, and through the years we found out people that summer up here or vacation here quite a bit, they bring their friends and it kind of, it makes it a real kind of a family neighborhood. And it's a good feeling. Yeah. I yeah. believe art is energy. And you know, to come in here and, and and see what we have to offer and and take some of that energy as well as leave some of yours. Well, thanks so much, you guys. <laughs>